फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू एनालाइज यूपीएससी प्रीलिम्स 2024 पेपर एंड आल्सो आई विल टेल यू द प्रेडिक्टेड कट ऑफ बेस्ड ऑन द डेटा एनालिसिस वी हैव एनालाइज 12,000 स्टूडेंट्स डेटा थ्रू वेरियस प्लेटफॉर्म्स एज वेल एज वी विल आल्सो टॉक अबाउट द वे फॉरवर्ड so let's start this video first of all there is a huge noise that paper was easy paper was easy everyone is saying paper was easy was it easy everyone has started uh, predicting cut off uh, it will go above 100 some are saying it will go around 105 so let's analyze the paper when you see it in first instance just you are just going through the paper you will think that it is an easy paper but mind you it is not an easy paper this is something which uh, uh, these institutes and lot of telegram channels are just uh, telling based on the random discussion and uh, just trying to unnerve students but i will go through why uh, go through the detail why it is not an easy paper the first thing is it is very factual when it is very factual so uh, the students who readily prepare for upsc or dedicatedly prepare for upsc they do not remember or cram such trivial facts and the whole paper is filled with so many facts the questions of uh, even polity are factual history is highly factual and Uh, there are surprises element as well and if you see there is increasing weightage of polity but polity questions are not easy polity uh, there are 50% questions which are easy but 50% questions are filled with extreme facts which are hard to memorize and it there is a deceptive difficulty when you go through this paper you will find that there is difficulty when you will solve it there are traps and the highly factual nature makes very hard to use elimination method so all of these needs to be taken care while you are talking about cut off paper easy paper is easy paper is not easy i mind you mind you say it uh, that cut off will increase but it will not only increase because gs paper is easy it will increase because c set was easy okay it's not that 2024 paper is very easy gs everyone is getting 100 these are myths there are new challenges like introduction of defense questions four five questions can make or break and upsc uh, students are not well versed in such topics c set was a breather comprehension was tough then uh, tougher than last year quant and reasoning were easier so uh, many students who failed uh, in csat and scored very high in gs those students number will be lesser and that's a good news you cannot make csat too tough and just snatch seats of students by making a vague paper the 2023 csat paper was vague paper and it was totally uh, non justifiable and it was against uh, the scheme of examination the syllabus which has been provided by upsc so this year it was a, a moment of respite was there in csat now i can say that this easy paper have come from where when you are not solving the paper one by one you are just googling it or you are just seeing it you will say it's it's an easy paper secondly the students who have not given the paper they have tried uh, they have started calling it it was easy it was easy when i see a paper inside my comfort zone in sofa in a cozy manner i also see a what a easy paper it was i have given five times prelims not one twice thrice five uh, fourth but fifth five times and i know how much pressure how much nervousness it can cause in inside the examination hall i have cleared all five times but each time i had to struggle to clear it and it the paper becomes uh, Why stuff when you give it in the examination hall? So all these students who had not given 2024, they have started calling it. It was easy. It was easy. And when you are not uh, in the uh, war zone, you will say, "Ah, what are they doing? There is nothing. It was very easy. If I would have given, I would have got 120. It's over. Okay. 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 ठीक है सो so, 23 पेपर वाज वेग 
was poorly uh, made it 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 was poorly made rather than tough it was of a uh, bad quality that was not expected from upsc the quality was not at all good that was the thing it is not that uh, 2024 is very easy 2023 was very tough ye nahi hai 2024 is also tough but the cut off will increase one because c set uh, was relatively easier and secondly there were some 10 15 familiar question in the paper unlike 2000 24 uh, 23 in which every question was uh, seemingly coming from some uh, some unknown area or unknown dimension and was not properly framed so now based on the analysis of 12000 students data collected from 5 6 sources i had talked personally to 500 600 students 200 300 students are very hard working they have cleared prelims also in the past so based on the analysis this can be false i i cannot say i cannot guarantee that it will be true 100% this is based on my analysis my experience and knowledge uh, let's see the cut off so the cut off is data driven uh, through data driven prediction and i say that cut off of general will be 90 plus minus 2 that is 88 to 92 obc it will be 88 plus minus 2 that is uh, from 86 to 90 okay and for ews it will be 84 plus minus 2 that is 82 to 86 for schedule cast it will be 77 plus minus 2 that is 73 uh, to uh, sorry 75 to 79 okay and for st it will be 73 plus minus 2 okay that is 71 to 75 again i am repeating for general it will be 90 plus minus 2 uh, that is 88 to 92 for obc it will be 88 plus minus 2 that is 86 to 90 okay now what if you are getting in 80s and you are from general category see one thing is that 2 3 4 2 3 4 questions easily will be different in upsc uh, actual answer key so if you are getting anything around 80 start preparing for mains do not waste your time we have just 95 days if you are getting in 60s 70s and you are from general category hard luck champs uh, you have worked uh, um, worked so hard i cannot say that you got 60 70 you have not worked hard this is a myth i know personally you had to have luck when you are giving prelims to clear it uh, because we all play a guesswork or guesswork mein four five guesses went right four five cases went wrong you are in you are out this is not solely about knowledge this is not solely about hard work you all have done hard work uh, parents won't understand mm, uh, your relatives won't understand your friends may not understand but i do understand i do understand that you have worked very very hard so if you have given two three attempts already uh, go and search for uh, like explore some plan b as well this exam is extremely cruel and if you want to talk about that uh, you can message me as well as well as chandra sekhar sir um, and uh, plan exp- exploring plan b is uh, very important if you have given this was your first attempt then just uh, wait for 2 3 days take rest and start for uh, means immediately so that when you clear prelims in the 2025 you get a very good rank so at least take 2 3 days rest and if you are feeling breakdown emotional uh, emotions are uh, increasing a lot give yourself 7 days 10 days any decision now will be based just on emotion and not on reasoning and that's not an easy thing you give 3 year 4 year 5 years for one day and then these things happen this is a completely random examination i do not uh, categorize anyone clearing prelims or anyone getting rank as someone who has done a lot of hard work and they only you deserving there are 10000 50000 students who are deserving hard working there is a lot of luck involved in prelims mains interview and this examination is is extremely dicey is it is most diciest examination in the country in the world and this is because of the pattern as well as uh, uh, the the system which is in place which is not transparent and the paper which is set has no criteria and it fluctuates and the evaluation everything uh, it is it is a very dicey examination so i do understand uh, how difficult it is give yourself time if you want to connect with us 
message us we will talk to you and we will try to help you out take rest everyone you all deserve a rest best wishes take care